what is up you guys welcome back to the channel uh we got a word for you guys t today uh and the star of today's uh video is pretty much archangel but uh uh yeah this is like actually my second time recording this because the first time i had to scrap because for some reason uh someone decided to start using power stools uh so yeah but anyways, we're going with the strategy where we evade the first medium and try to catch or fish for a uh, light attack, like right there. And that way we can heavy Ebony Maw. And uh, yeah, just try to get as many Nortoxins on him and yeah, he's down. So pretty easy fights. Uh, Ebony Maw isn't really a threat. Um, it seems like he's going to be getting an update either this month or next month, I believe. Uh, kind of curious as how strong he will be on a Lions War defense. <clears throat> but, alright, let's get on to the next fight. He's got a Cosmic here, and this Cosmic fight actually ends up being Annihilus. Now, Masochism combined with Annihilus' uh, ability to sometimes... Uh, be stun immune it makes this fight a little trickier than i thought it would be uh but uh basically what we're doing is we're trying to get bleeds on here uh this it basically gets everything off because uh as as long as when archangel has an ability where with bleeds he prevents a, a champion from uh uh, activating tenacity like effects so yeah that's what we're doing here trying to get bleeds but we're not really getting really lucky uh here uh so the note on here is uh bubble shield so once they hit 10 uh, they hit 10 times on my block uh their next attack is unblockable so basically i saw that i had nine already and that the special two was gonna uh for sure uh, be unblockable at some point so i just went for it and yeah uh ended up eating a little bit of damage but <clears throat> not too much damage so uh we end up making it through that fight but uh this next fight oh man this next fight is uh it's something else uh i didn't believe it myself because i know that i should have died for sure but this is ages heavy, so we have to land six heavy attack. Uh, let's let me wear that better. We have to hit them six times as a heavy, and my best bet here is Archangel. The other two only have a, a one hit heavy. Uh, Archangel has a three hit heavy, so if I can land two heavies, we're done, and we just play normal. But uh, yeah, the very start of the fight, it was kind of weird. Just didn't get any. Uh, parries for some reason so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bait the special one hopefully okay there we go and we're gonna go for a parry and what we're doing is waiting for the very last second to uh, so that we don't accidentally activate astral evade and finally we get that over and yeah throw our SP1 <clears throat> Okay, so here's the jammy part where, uh, yeah, it gets really, really, uh, it gets very, like, sketchy. Like, I should have definitely have died, but through the SP1, I somehow got six neurotoxins on him. And the neurotoxin did enough damage where, uh, by the time that I finished with my SP1, he was dead. So, uh, yeah, that fight was crazy because, like, I know he should have thrown an SP3, but, um, one trick I did do is basically you hold your block after a four hit combo and there's a chance that the AI will, uh, not throw the special and go for a heavy attack or a hit into your combo. So if you have a good eye and you see that they use a, a second medium or they go for a heavy, you can quickly uh, counter that and do a five hit combo or throw your special or whatever you want. Uh, so yeah, if if uh, you recognize uh, um, animations, it will help you in the long run. <laughs> Right, so we got Hyperion. It's a power start one. Um, this was kind of a tough fight, uh, or at least it was a little tricky at the start. Basically, what I had to do is make sure he didn't have power gain, 
uh, make sure he didn't have uh, enough for a special attack and basically I had to hold that for um, well I guess until he g k gets KO'd and uh, yeah so far we're holding it down and he's down to 70% health but we still have uh, well basically the rest of his health and um, uh, the first portion of the fight it actually really goes well but uh, towards the end uh, because he activates a power gain buff uh, there we go there's the power gain <laughs> buff right on cue so he he activates it I hit him a couple times and now I need to bait a special attack and bait once bait twice no throw and concussion and like ah shoot now let's just let's just get all the damage we can we're at 92 percent health i held my heavy uh right as he was gonna throw his special three and basically what that does is that it will um cause him to not get his cosmic charges so that will help me in the long run uh and here for some reason i really don't know why um i i just didn't do anything. I backed up and I guess I inputted a heavy, but uh, my phone must not have read it. Uh, and yeah, he just kind of hit me with the heavy and I was like, uh, okay. And because he had assassin's range, that ruined me. Um, so that's why I didn't evade at the end, even though I was holding my, my heavy. So, uh, big mistake, but... It's one death. I'm not too worried about it. Um, it's not like I had a good counter anyways, but uh, we ended up going with uh, Warlock here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we we aggressively bait the special one uh, and parry as much, much as we can. And what that does is that it gets the infection on him quicker. So uh, I believe parry uh, gets four stacks of the infection uh, or whatever that uh, virus thing is. And uh, yeah, so basically you need five parries in order to get the infection. Um, and as long as we can get a debuff on him, uh, which we're not getting right now. Uh, okay, there we go. We throw the SP2 and uh, he's almost dead. But basically as long as we have a debuff on him, uh, he's activating willpower and causing his power to go down. So uh, yeah, that infection was actually helping us quite a bit, especially... Uh, considering we went with the class disadvantage, which I normally do not like doing, uh, the, it's very rare that going in with the class disadvantage will actually uh, net you positive, especially nowadays where if you go in with the class disadvantage, you get even more disadvantage via abilities. Uh, like Domino, for example, if you go in with a skill, you're ruined. You like. There's very low chance that you'll make it out. Uh, like, like if you use Blade or something against Domino, it's just not a good idea. Uh, and this next fight is a Havoc. I believe I get hit here. Um, maybe it was at the start. But uh, yeah, I throw my SP2, and it was actually, I was really expecting more damage. Uh, so as you saw, I hit for, I think the highest was 3k. But, uh, yeah, I forgot that I'm not running suicides uh, for, I believe, most of the path. And I was like, man, that felt so weak. Uh, but, yeah, Warlock, I, I feel like he's uh, one of those champions that benefits so much from uh, attack increases. Uh, kind of like Corvus and Ghost, where uh, adds uh, a decent bonus of attack and they just gain so much from it. Because uh, usually uh, I see like 7k crits on that SP2, which can add up pretty quick quickly. And last fight of the war is against this Omega Red. Now, this is a really good matchup for us because not only is he do we have the class advantage, but also um, because we're robots, his uh, spores don't uh, stack too fast. So and they drop off faster, I believe. I, I'm not completely sure, but yeah, we got a class disadvantage. We throw our SP2, and the SP2 gets more infection on them. And yeah, so basically we can keep him at very low power. Uh, without having so we won't have to be worried about throwing specials and don't have to worry about the the node which basically causes us to um, lose health if we are away from the attacker or defender I mean um, and uh, gain and so basically just have him against the wall always uh, trying to gain as much health as po possible 
But uh, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it to the war. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was pretty short, just I didn't buy another part in here. Uh, someone else took that champion. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.